tradition, of course, of just watching the parade, whether you're at home on television or live here in the streets. One of the traditions is Cal Poly and the students who like to sit across the street and cheer their floats on. This year will mark their 40th entry in the parade and they always have some kind of mechanical wonder. Oh, I'll never forget the first time I looked at one of their floats. So here are a bunch of kids, you know they're geniuses, they look like geniuses, and they are. They've got a computer in their float and nobody had ever done that before. And all sorts of things happen to the boat, this move, that move, so forth. Well, the fun thing about it is nowadays those computers are so small, it literally is about the size of a little toaster. And Cal Poly today is not going to let us down. Bill and I had a preview the other day of their float and it is quite spectacular. Lots yeah. of fun and always with a lot of sense of humor. The interesting thing, though, is that Cal Poly students actually have to build their float on two separate campuses that are 240 miles apart. And then in the uh, last days, in the last minutes, they get it all together. Sure, even grow the flowers up in San Luis Obispo and some of them out here in Pomona, yeah. the other campus. Good thing there's no rivalry there, at least this time of year. The Founders Trophy for the most outstanding self-built entry is one of the real veterans of the Rose Parade, making a 40th consecutive appearance here this year, Cal Poly University brings us another one of their highly animated floats called Imagine That. Move up close to your TV so you won't miss any of the float's whimsical movements. Now a young boy reads a book and conjures up that outlandish dragon riding along with him. Now the animation style features a microcomputer inside the float, wouldn't you think that's just like Poly t uh, Cal Poly? Sure. <laughs> as light as a telephone, and it's so small that it would fit in a toaster oven. That's a small computer. The intricate planning and work involved more than 25,000 volunteer hours by students at Pomona and San Luis Obispo. They were 240 miles apart. Well, look at this. Here are our friends from Cal Poly Universities, and they've won the Founders Trophy for the most outstanding self-decorated entry. You're moving a two-story statue by computer. Yes, indeed. 20 years ago, Cal Poly did, became an innovator in float animation. Today, a young reader brings a book to life in this year's entry called Imagine That. More than 75% of the flowers used in this float were grown at the two Cal Poly campuses. And the students donated over 20,000, 25,000 hours of labor. I don't know if they studied that art or not. And, you know, Bill, to quote one of the Poly engineers, the animation utilizes state-of-the-art hydraulic proportional valves programmed by an ECX-188 bolt-in microcomputer. <laughs> I don't know what that means in English. <laughs> Look at the people going crazy over this float. Of course, those are the Cal Poly students yeah, who every is... year are right here in front of the Norton Simon. Where's the big banner? They usually have a big banner. Oh, yeah. they're getting it up a banner now down there. I see it. This is their traditional spot in the parade, and so they, needless to say, are really cheering their own, their own on. The interesting thing about that float, too, is that it's built on the two separate campuses 240 miles apart. Dr. Sammy Lee, a platform diver, Korean gold medalist there, Peter Bitmar, Davey Green, all of them uh, Olympics. All on that float. Oh. Here's from Cal Poly. That's why you can hear all the noise across the street, because the Cal Poly students line the yes. street. Yes. This depicts, imagine that, when an author has made a child visualize what he wanted to teach him. Cal Poly builds its floats in two parts, one on each campus, pulls them together at the last minute, and they always have a bunch of students just thrilled that they made it. Let's see if they throw water on them. They, the yep, tradition, there you go, they threw the water, yes. They always put <laughs> water on the crowd. It won the Founders Trophy, by the way, awarded to the most outstanding entry built by members of the community or organization. And it's Cal Poly. Wonderfully done.